Hey folks, we're going to be modding some keyboards today. I found a pretty cool option for keycaps. Uh, Rosewill actually sells double shot molded keycaps. And I bought a bunch of red ones because the red gives keyboards a vintage feel. It's like the function keys on a BBC Micro or something. Now double shot injected keycaps are, are higher quality. It means that they actually use uh, two bits of plastic in there and I think that plastic actually is what's print is what you see as the printed symbols on the keyboard so yeah Rosewell sells these for like 15 to 20 bucks decided to pick up a pair to mod two keyboards uh, figured I'd show you what it looks like the first keyboard I'm going to be modding with probably the majority of these keycaps is the Cooler Master Nova Touch TKL keyboard this is the uh, Cooler Master keyboard that uses the uh, Topre key switches. We'll be taking every single keycap off this keyboard and re be replacing it with these. So I'll let you watch that in a uh, in super fast motion by the magic of video editing. Here we go. Here's the pile of keycaps. There's a space bar for you. Looks like the space bar uses cherry type uh, mounting for the stabilizers. It appears that enter keys and the shift keys all use that as well. So I hope these actually fit. <laughs> this might be a no-go if, uh, if that isn't the case. We'll find out when I take this keyboard apart. Let's do it. There we go. It took me about seven minutes, something like that, uh, to disassemble this keyboard to get all the keys off. Now the good news is, if you look at these uh, shift keys, they have the same cherry stabilizer uh, uh, moldings in them that the Rosewell ones do. So this is a good sign. I think that means these keycaps are going to fit just fine. So hopefully they do. As you can see, this is the keyboard. Again, this is the Cooler Master Nova Touch TKL. What they did was they took Topre key switches, used the traditional stems, but put a little cherry mount in the middle of them, which is why I can use these cherry keycaps on this particular keyboard, as you can sort of see here. Every single one is a cherry mount, yet you get the feel of a Topre switch keyboard. And curiously enough, the plungers are purple. They look a bit blue on the camera's... Uh, LCD screen, but they're definitely a dark purple. There's also the spring for the space bar. It's a very, very, very light spring. So, let's take the new keys and put them all on. Or at least the ones that don't, aren't, you know, aren't on that part of a normal keyboard. So let's do it. And there you have it. Keyboard is finished. This is my custom Cooler Master Nova, Cut, Nova Touch uh, TKL. I love red keycaps for some reason, and that's why I chose these. And the double shot injection looks like it's pretty nice. There you go, that's my prized uh, cherry mounted Topra keyboard. Absolutely love it now. It has a real vintage look to it. <laughs> Even though the case is still black. I like I like this. I like this a lot. And as you can see the keys the, the font on the keys is quite a bit bigger than it was on the old keys, but I like I like this a little bit better. Honestly. I the only thing I complain about is that it uses an older looking Windows logo on the Windows keys. That's really it. Uh, some of you might ask, "What about function keys?" Well, the right-click key is a function is the function key. So, all that sort of stuff. You just have to do this to figure out what each of them is. They're all in the F row, so it's just a matter of figuring it out. So, you know, like that. Uh, so, 
there you have it. Uh, that is modding this keyboard. Now, this Rosewell keycap series was for a full keyboard like this one right here. You may wonder what I'm going to do with the rest of the keycaps. Well, you see I have another Cooler Master keyboard, the Quickfire XT with cherry green switches. I'm going to use these on the numpad in this particular on this particular keyboard since this is the keyboard I'm going to customize very heavily uh because it already is. So I think I'll uh put the keycaps on that and then I'll show it to you. This is interesting. I was going to put these keycaps here, the rest of my keycaps that are left over onto the numpad on this keyboard. I thought that a stabilizer bar was going to make that null and void, but it looks like the stabilizer bar actually uses little plastic cherry adapters for it. That's really nice. So that means I can actually use uh, the keycaps that are here with it. Let's see if I can get these little mounts out of here to show you one. It's a little plastic mount thing that just goes right into the uh, the cherry mounted slot and then that and then that hooks into the stabilizer bar so that will actually work cool I didn't think this was gonna work at first but hey Cooler Master actually thought ahead a little bit with the Quickfire XT it's a good keyboard so let me get these on here real quick figure out the stabilizer bars and then I'll show it to you finally got all the keys with the stabilizers on that was a royal pain in the ass. But here's just a look at the uh, what the cherry mount looks like on a genuine cherry switch, as opposed to the modified mount on that keyboard over there. This is the real. These are some genuine cherry green switches, as opposed to the modified topre on uh, the other keyboard. So let me put the rest of the keys on, and I'll show this to you. All right, there you have it. Done with the uh, keycap mods for now. I have a fully red. Top right keyboard over here. Of course, it's the Cooler Master one, so it uses cherry keycap mounts. Excuse me there. And uh, here's the Cooler Master Quickfire XT with the cherry green switches. Uh, with a few customized keycaps already. It has a long way to go. Look at all the black that's still on there. I only have a couple keys done. Now I have the numpad done. I have a red numpad, which is just what I wanted. There you have it. And there's your keycap mods for today. I just thought I'd show that to you for those who are interested. It's a fun project, I think, to uh, customize keyboards. Uh, you finally figure out which ones you like. That's when you customize them, after you're done trying all of them out. So, this isn't the only keyboard I'm going to turn all red. I actually have my Topre Type Heaven keyboard. I have red keycaps coming for that too, so I'll look out for a video on that. Uh, that should be a fun one. It'll pretty much be just like this one, except that the mounts will be a little bit different, and I'll I'll show you, uh, and I'll have to talk a little bit more about uh, custom keycaps for Topre keyboards. For Cherry keyboards, there's a thriving market for it. For Topre, not so much. That's what makes this Cooler Master keyboard up here so special. It's a Topre keyboard that can take advantage of the Cherry keycap market. So. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.